Hi Aries, Someone Rising and Venus, and welcome to your love reading for May 2022. I'll be taking a look at your love interest, how they're viewing you, their feelings and actions they plan on taking, and then towards the end, I'll be taking a look at singles looking for new love and some other good stuff. All right, Aries, let's go ahead and see what's up with your person, what do they want to tell you, their energy surrounding you. God, angels, Holy Spirit, please give me three clear messages here. What does this person want to tell Aries? What's up with them? What's up with them, please? What's up with this person on Aries' mind? Wow. Okay. One more. Okay. So under the deck, you do have a new chapter. And the cards that came out here for you, not cheating, not what it seems, and I just need to be alone right now. So Aries, for those of you who have been concerned about your love interest, maybe seeing other people, doing things with other people, saying things to other people, or maybe if you're in an actual relationship, if you've been concerned if this person is cheating, I feel like they're not. Okay, I feel like this person, they might be going through other things that doesn't involve another man or a woman. I feel like it's more personal, okay? Um, things are not what they seem. For some of you, if this person's at a distance, they want you to wait for them or something about waiting, okay? Let's go ahead and dig further. How is this person currently viewing Aries? How is this person currently viewing Aries? Tell me more. Their feelings for Aries. What is this person's feelings for Aries? Tell me more about their feelings. And what action? What action does this person plan on taking? What action? Tell me more about the action. Ooh, too many here. All right. So, Aries, how this person is currently viewing you, you have karmic partner and reinvention. So, I feel like this person may be viewing you like maybe you're dealing with a karmic partner. I don't feel like they're seeing you as a karmic partner, to be quite honest. I feel like they feel like there's someone else around your energy or that you still may be dealing with someone from the past or talking or texting with someone from the past here. For very few of you, maybe they were dealing with a karmic partner, maybe before you or something around those lines. Now with the reinvention card here, they are viewing you as someone who's put in a lot of time and effort work on yourself here. They see you really just focused on you, looking good here, smelling good. For some of you, it's like this person doesn't even recognize you anymore. Let's go ahead and dig further. Tell me more about how this person is viewing Aries. How is this person viewing Aries? The Devil. The King of Swords. The Strength card in reverse. Capricorn energy, Leo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. And the Ten of Cups. So they, they view you as someone who... They can have a family where share a home with, a life with, long-term commitment here, marriage, happiness, all that good stuff here. Now, I will say, though, that for some of you, they could be viewing you as either dealing with some type of addictions or maybe as a little bit toxic. It does not mean it's true. This could also talk about a Capricorn being involved in the situation, maybe even a Leo, okay, for some of you an air sign. But I'm picking up on heavy Leo and Capricorn here. So, you know, right now... It, they're viewing you as someone who's very clear, very cut, straightforward. You're not here to mess around. Like, you're straightforward. That's what I'm picking up on. They could be viewing you, Aries, like a little bit, um, like having a little bit of a temper at times, okay? Not really having patience for them. I don't know, random messages. So you tell me more how this person viewing Aries. The Four of Cups. For some of you, this, this person's wanting to apologize or they could be viewing you as not being too sure whether you want to reconcile or accept their um, cup of love here because maybe at one point this person could have been a player or something about being a player 
or very inconsistent in and out energy. There could have been an ending between you two at one point, Scorpio. Um, now, this person's feelings for you, you have destruction, inner child, and family. Their feelings for you, Aries, are a little bit out of control here. They're feeling very, they're having a hard time um, controlling their emotions, all right? There might be a child involved. If not, then this is them, you know, working on their inner child, or maybe there's things in the relationship that they would do or say to you, Aries, where it's things that they weren't healed from, right? So they really had to dig further or look really deep deep inside of them to see what it what was causing those patterns and it could be something to do with their childhood or something to do about a child all right but i do feel like they see you as someone they could have a family with for very few of you maybe you're pregnant or you have a child with this person but they do see you as someone that they could potentially have a family with and if you already had a family with this person then they're missing that they're thinking about the times you two shared and i'm also picking up an energy of a time where you guys all went on vacation random message let's go ahead and dig further tell me more about this person's feelings for aries can i just holy spirit this person is feeling yeah they are feeling like they're having headaches over you aries they're overthinking the situation Again, this person may be dealing with some inner child or like mental health issues here. This is also them wanting to come forward and apologize for something. Heavy Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They're having a hard time moving away from you. Again, I'm feeling like a destruction tower moment type of energy. It's like their, their emotions, their feelings, their words, they're all over the place. Tell me more. I feel like this person's scattered at this time. Page of Wands. They're wanting to communicate, they're wanting to express their love, wanting to have a new beginning with you here with the Ten of Pentacles, Three of Swords. They're feeling heartbroken, maybe over a third party situation or maybe um, over just a heartbreak here. Deception. Tell me more, this person's feelings for Aries. Six of Pentacles, yeah. They're, they're wanting to work things out, balance things out here with you. They want things to be equal and fair. Tell me more about this person's feelings. The star card, Aquarius energy. They're really wanting to um, bring this back together. I don't know why I'm picking up on that. They want to work things out or they want to make this work here. They still have hope in the situation. They dream a lot about you. Four of Cups. They're scared of rejection. They're scared that you will turn them down here. Now, let's take a look at their actions, okay? The actions this person plans on taking, you have fifth dimension and metamorphosis. So I see this person having a lot of dreams about you here in the near future. I see that um, they're gonna be connecting with you on a spiritual level, like you may be feeling this person's energy in May. And I also feel like they're wanting to come forward like a different person they want to show you that they've changed or they want to show you that they've gone through some type of transformation let's go ahead and dig further tell me more about the actions this person plans on taking towards aries may oh you have the lovers here the star card again the magician and the eight of swords in reverse this person's wanting to get out of conflict okay they want to like get unstuck here they want, um, I'm telling you, this person, I feel like they're going to be having a lot of dreams about you. For some of you, this person has has been having nightmares. Or again, they've been going through some mental conflict, like a lot of scattered emotions, scattered feelings here. But I see them coming forward here very passionately, very hopeful, wanting to manifest you back here. Gemini, Aquarius, Virgo energy. Tell me more. What actions? does this person plan on taking towards Aries? I am just Holy Spirit. The hangman. Pisces energy. I feel like this person in the near future, they are going to have an awakening, some type of transformation, some a moment of enlightenment, a moment of, um, oh, I get it. Okay, this is how I have to do it here. Four of Pentacles. You know, after a long time of holding back, I see them coming forward here. I feel like, yeah, see, after taking a time out here, something about 4, 44, maybe 
four days, four weeks, four months, four years, or something about April. Something significant could have, been, could have happened in April. You could have been married to this person, or again, this person could be a Leo, or they're, they're wanting to have a long-term commitment here with you, wanting to be happy here. Two of Cups, guys. I mean, look at this. The Sun card and Two of Cups, Cancer energy. Yeah, I see them coming forward here. This is like a spiritual connection. They don't want to give up on this. Tell me more about this hanging man. Action, this person plus I'm taking towards Aries, the high priestess. Yeah, I'm telling you. This person is going to decide to listen to their intuition. All right, they're getting out of this crossroads type of energy. They're coming forward here. I feel like they really took a time out here or they will be taking a time out to really reflect on the whole situation and connection. On what it is that went wrong. On what it is that, on how, on how it is that they messed up the connection or, or the mistakes they made. I keep feeling the energy where this person wants to come towards you correctly or they want to come forward changed or, or you, maybe you told this person like I don't like this specific thing about you and it's like they don't want to come back to you Aries until they fix or heal that thing. Yeah, Eight of Wands, communication. Yeah, I see this person communicating. Ace of Cups here. This could be a new love or this is them offering you a new um, beginning here in love. So definitely expect communication. Now, let's go ahead and see singles. What can singles expect here in May? And also, keep in mind, guys, this is not going to resonate with all of you, so feel free to check your other placements, okay? Four of Wands. Some of you um, are thinking about moving, traveling, buying a new home. I see that being successful here. I also see happy times um, in the home, with the children, with the family, celebrating something here, some type of achievement. Maybe you're going to achieve something in May, Aries also talks about twin flame energy high priestess very intuitive at this time you're going to be receiving a lot of uh, messages and ten of cups beautiful yeah i see that some of you this is a reconciliation for others of you this is you meeting someone could be a twin flame where it could lead to marriage could lead to family children all that good stuff here for others of you this is just you spending quality time with your family and possibly moving traveling going on vacation but this is beautiful guys some of you may meet someone who already has children or is, you know, like combining families, but that's for very, very few of you, like 4% of you. Tell me more. Page of Swords. I see a Gemini Libra Aquarius here keeping an eye on you. This could be a secret admirer or this could be someone from your past. Take it how it resonates here. And the Justice card, Libra Energy. You could be dealing with a legal situation. I feel like that will be going in your favor. Some of you are deciding to learn something new in May or pick up a new hobby, pick up a new project or something new here. You're gonna be um, wanting to start something new. You may hear news from a Gemini Libra Aquarius or again, this is an air sign keeping an eye on you, stalking you. Yeah, here we go again. More Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. I see communication, clarity coming in here. I see balance coming in here for you in May. Give me one more. For some of you, or for those of you looking to reconcile, I see the possibility for that here, okay? Now, the Nine of Cups, yeah, you being happy, feeling confident, receiving some type of good news, feeling satisfied. You might get recognition for something. So yeah, it looks pretty good here, Aries. Okay, I don't wanna pull out more cards. Don't wanna ruin this energy. But yeah, I see you feeling very abundant. Maybe after a time of feeling kind of down or low, I see you like finally picking up here, feeling a lot of, um, I feel like there's a lot of emotional balance here in May. You have a lot of cups, a lot of balance, a lot of clarity, a lot of new ideas. Some of you could be meeting a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Pisces. Strong Pisces can be a Cancer or Scorpio. All right, Aries, let's go ahead and see what your crystal, what crystal do you have for the sign of Aries? If you don't have this crystal, it's okay. Feel free to write it down, screenshot it, Google it to see how it can help you manifest this month. What crystals do you have for the sign of Aries? Turquoise, okay, the number 41, balance, throat, and heart chakra. Guys, I'm not making this up. What did I say? I said there was going to be a lot of balance here in May. So this is beautiful energy. Um, definitely feel free to screenshot this or Google it. But yeah, the number 41 here, guys. Balance, throat, and heart chakra. Love that. 
And let's go ahead and see what angel number. You may have already been seeing this angel number. If not, be close attention. The angels are trying to tell you something. The number four, nice. I am stable. And you also have the number 666, I am centered, okay? Let me go ahead and read both of them. So a wake up call for you to re-examine your current situation and change the direction of your thoughts so you can raise your vibration to a more positive frequency. Very nice. And the number four, you bring stability and rationality to any situation. You are the rock and your hard work and perseverance <laughs> make you a dependable friend, partner, and colleague. Beautiful guys. This was your love reading Aries for May 2022. If it did not resonate, feel free to check your other placements. Thank you to all my loyal subscribers who continue to love and support my channel. And if you haven't already, please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.